Hello there Pixel Pushers, Sadiq Hussain here from the um, Pixel Pushers YouTube channel and uh, I'm here with the, um, the third in a quick series of um, short videos with regards to a, a, a little bit of a hidden feature or a part of the menu that you don't always think about going to. So what we're going to look at here is if you have some text or if you have a signature and you want to remove the background, the white paper on which you've done it, and um, and so that you've got basically a, a, a transparent background and you can then apply that text or that logo or that um, writing or this little bit of um, a, a sort of painted uh, word uh, onto another image. So you don't want the background. Uh, what What's the quick way of doing that? Now you've got a number of options of course you could just do a flood selection select all the white remove it that way and see if that works well uh, or you can use if you look into your erase brush you've also got a background erase brush so let's just try that and um, so make sure the layer is selected so this is just sample text and if I use the erase background brush you can see that it is in fact doing a good job it's it's erasing the background and to to sort of see that if you zoom in you can see the checkerboard pattern of the background but it's not erasing the actual writing itself that takes a little time and um, so how else could we do it so let's just go back to where it was and instead of using that option what I'm going to show you is something that most people don't know it's there and it's under the filter menu down to colors and then there's something called erase white paper and that does exactly as what it says on the tin so if I if I if I select that there you go bang all the white pixels have gone the white paper if you like has been removed so now what we've got if I just uh, click on the move tool um, is just the wording, just the text. Now this could be type text that you've done using the um, the text tool here. It could be a signature that you've scanned in, uh, and this works particularly well with a signature or any handwritten text. It could be a logo, a copyright um, symbol. It could be just uh, words that you've got off the stock photography, as, as I have here. Or it could be a painting or something that you've um, sketched onto white paper. And if you want to remove that white background, that is a quick way of doing it. And how would you apply that? So if I just do a copy of that um, uh, selection and I open up another image. And uh, let's just just select one sorry I had the right one in the first place that let's just select that for now and on here um, we want to apply that I've already copied it so I'll just do a paste and there we go copy and paste using the keyboard shortcuts uh, and of course I can resize it I can flip it I can move it about but what you notice is that you can see through you know where that where the paint is invisible and it's not affecting the the image behind it okay so that's a very quick way of using a little known feature in affinity photo under filters colors and erase white paper as i said it works particularly well with anything that you've written on a plain piece of paper and you've scanned it in or you've photographed it and you want to isolate that written word um, from from the paper easily particularly a signature and i've done it with signatures so often and it is so so useful especially in this day and age when we're required to d sign documents electronically sign them digitally and with rather than just written text but with with your own authentic signature and that um, that is yours uh, but you can just resize it and put it wherever you want. Of course, you can then create a brush from that, as we've done before. And again, I'll put a link in the description and also in the at the end of the video if you want to look at creating a brush from a, a particular text. That's easily done. Uh, but you but we'll, we'll you can look at that video separately. Hope you found that useful. 
and uh, as before please give us a like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so it doesn't cost anything it doesn't take very long at all but it, what it enables me to uh, do is to get the message out about affinity photo and its many features to as many people as possible around the world and we are increasing our subscription um, level already it's gone over the 300 mark and i only started just before christmas so it is very very uh, pleasing to see so many people interested in learning about affinity i mean i teach affinity in face-to-face -face classes as well as um, sessions over zoom and um, microsoft teams virtually uh, and those are popular but of course um, these videos uh, add to that so that the students can dip into them and everybody and anybody can um, can view them add comments and any suggestions for future videos i'd welcome that because i want to create content that people want to see that people will find useful whether it's the desktop version of affinity or indeed the ipad version which is also a very powerful uh, app in its own right so thanks for watching and i'll see you next time